Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and today we are playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right here. We are doing some double shiny hunting. We on my screen, you can see my Pokedex right here. We have the shiny charm unlocked. We have 400 out of the 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex and therefore we will have some better chances and today I'm pressing the wrong buttons and today we want to go back right away and try to hunt for shiny Roaring Moon, which is um, shiny ancient Salamence. Super, super excited for that. Really, really want to get the Roaring Moon. And I hope that we ha will have some better luck today with the um, shiny charm. Obviously with the shiny charm. And we are going to... First of all, we're gonna go and... Fly there. Gotta fly there, gotta save there, gotta put up a picnic there, and we have to boost our dragon. We gotta boost our dragon spawns, because last time when we tried to shiny hunt for Roaring Moon, we realized that dragon is a little bit better than a dark type boost, because the dark type boost was spawning in way too many other Pokemon that shouldn't be on the map. So now if we have Dragon, we can kind of like single out Swilos and Roaring Moon and potentially the other spawns that will spawn there if we are doing a little bit of a quicker spawning uh, method, letting them spawn in a little bit quicker. But let's just start right away. Let's just start right away with the picnic. And I have my recipe right here. And we're gonna... Did I save? I think I saved. There's no... No turning back now. We're gonna... Uh, Create that sandwich and I think I have the recipe already in mind that I want to go for as always. Tomato, normal onion, green bell pepper and a hamburger. And on top of that we need two avocado pieces. There we go. And the Herba Mystica. We have quite a few Herba Mysticas because I have been trying to get the six star rates and therefore I had to complete some five star rates which were giving me Herba Mysticas. You don't really need any specific Herba Mysticas, you just use whatever you want. And now we're gonna create that sandwich. Let me check out the chat a little bit, let me see who is here today. Saya is in the chat, um, absolutely fantastic to see you. We have Skate, we have my wife in the chat, we have Frex. Leonard is here, hey where are you from? I am from Germany. We have Tan, we have Cappy. Good luck, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, da, 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 da. Mm, 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 mm. um, here we are. Okay, let's go, let's go. We're gonna start with the tomatoes. I'm always doing the recipe, the order that we actually pick the ingredients. So we're gonna go tomatoes, onions. Gonna have the onions on the right side. Gonna have the bell pepper on the left side, and there we go. If you want to know the recipes for level 3 increased shiny as well as encounter odds, make sure to check out the member section. We have um, an exclusive Discord. Oh, that, that piece is gone. That piece is just gone. But it's fine, it's fine. We have plenty of these pieces, and I'm gonna put on the bread like that. There we go. Perfect. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Again, if you want to check out the recipes that you need to boost your typings, whatever typing you need. I, for example, I need a dragon typing right here to level 3 for the encounter rate, title rate, as well as shiny rates. You can join the Discord by becoming a member here on YouTube. You will have a lot of perks. We will be giving away... That tomato is right in the bread. We will be giving away shiny Pokemon in the game. We will be giving away Pokemon cards in the future. We will do a lot of stuff. We will do raids together. There will be a Charizard level 7? 7 star raid soon? So that might be something that we could do together. Super, super excited for it. And we have the encounter rate and sparkling power for dragon up to level 3. So let's pack together right here. And we're gonna start. We're gonna start with our first hunt of the day. Which will be Roaring Moon. Shiny Roaring Moon. I kind of want to organize my, my box a little bit more. So we can actually um, have a nice overview for my Pokemon. Uh, let's go to station number 3. 
Um, hello, Grizzly. That sandwich looks... I'm not sure if you wanted to say good or goofy, but it looks both. It kind of looks both. It looks goofy, but it looks good. Ghoulish is in the chat as well. Nice to see you here. Um, why do we have... Oh, yeah. So, first of all, again, we want to go to the boxes. I kind of want to organize that a little bit at least. We are in my shiny box right here. Let's just put some of these Pokemon over here. We're gonna have um, this legendary, we're gonna put that right here. This legendary, we're gonna put that right here. And we have the shiny great task, we're gonna put that right here. That one is actually, I don't know where I... Oh, that was from a raid. Yeah, that was from a raid too. So we're gonna put that just, I would say, out of the way real quick, which would be here. And then we're gonna have my riding form, Coridon, right here. I think I'm just gonna bring one more Coridon right here. Um, oh yeah, that's that's the Coridon you can't really put into the box. Let me see, let me see. What is happening? Can I... I can't get it away. I can't get it away. Okay, we have to figure that out later. Alright, okay. Seems to be a little bit buggy, but we have the timer already running. There are a lot of other spawns right here currently going on because we have um, no dragon type spawning here. And if you have no dragon type spawning, everything will spawn. But as soon as you have dragon type spawning in the area, you will only see dragon types and as you can see right here we have the active me power sparkling dragon encounters and we have our first roaring moon right here let's see if we are a little bit more lucky we have the shiny charm right now in our possession which should help us with the shiny roaring moon spawns hopefully 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 it is definitely increasing chances a lot a lot i actually want to see the the shiny charm right right here it should be right here look at that Use this item. You seem to hear... Okay, okay, okay. You can't really use that item, right? It usually is just... It is used as soon as you have it. Alright, what we want to do is we want to slowly spawn out these Pokemon right here because we don't want to get too many uh, spawns for random Pokemon that we don't want to see. There we go. We have Pokemon 7... Nice to see you. Love your channel. Thank you so much. I highly appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Um, I'm still looking for a poltergeist. Uh, it's already been two days. I was lucky enough to get the poltergeist from the um, raids that are going on. Like, I actually haven't seen a poltergeist in the game. I was just... Wait, is that a green dino already? <laughs> that is... Uh, that is something. That is not the right dragon that we were looking for, but uh, it is our first shiny of the day. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I wasn't really seeing it at first. I was concentrating on like everything else and was trying to just like set everything else up. But here it is. We're gonna throw the boss. All right, all right, all right. Not the Pokemon we were looking for, but our first shiny of the day. Swilus was caught. All right. <laughs> That's good. That's some good stuff. All right, I have to... Let me see, let me see. Swilus should be right here. I gotta get the, the shiny picture for it. That was a little bit too quick. That was a little bit too quick, not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, we're gonna get rid of the Amoongus that we have right there, the ancient Amoongus, and we're gonna put Zwylus right here, because that is apparently the Pokemon that we are going for. And we now have a total of nine Pokemon that are shiny out of the 400 available. And we are spawning right in the Salamence, right in the Roaring Moon. Is that another shiny in the back? Wait, 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 wait. I, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look. I don't see. I don't see any other shinies in the back right now. Everybody in the chat, some shiny hype. 
As soon as you have the shiny charm, it just really boosts your chances, it feels like. That is insane. But I want to see... Because we had... Merry go around say, is there another shiny in the, in the back? I don't see another one in the back. Shiny charm is busted. It really, really seems like it's uh, already starting out really, really well. To everyone who is wondering, up here we have Pokemon Violet. Man, I'm getting attacked by these dragons. We have Pokemon Violet running. Pokemon Violet is being played by Holly, my daughter, who is um, trying to... Can I just get out of here? Uh, who is trying to get a shiny Charcadet. Shiny Pokemon decided to do better today than last time. I can't get out of these Pokemon battles. It's just back and forth. Okay. Roaring Moon, leave me alone. I'm running. I'm running away. Okay, this seems better. This seems like I am not encountering a Pokemon. Just go away. Don't, don't, don't. Thank you. Thank you very much, Roaring Moon. I appreciate that. Alright, okay, okay. Let's spawn them in slowly. I really, really like that because we already had our first shiny Pokemon within like a second. Literally one of the first Pokemon that we saw, shiny. We have some Gibbles over there. That Roaring Moon. No, 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 no. I'm running from you. I'm running away from you. Gonna despawn some Pokemon slowly. Come on, Roaring Moon. You gotta be out here somewhere. I think we spawned a lot of Pokemon here at the water. Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon. <sighs> to everyone who is wondering how we are trying to shiny hunt, with the um, Roaring Moon spawning in this cave, you only have two options. Either you boost the Dragon type or you boost the um, Dark type. And the Dark type spawns in a lot, a lot of different Pokemon. And the Dragon type basically spawns in Swilus and some Gibbles here and there. And we just have to deal with these Pokemon too. So what we are doing right here is we are despawning the Pokemon that we see on screen very, very slowly. Because that is kind of only giving the game a chance to spawn in Swilus or Roaring Moons. If you despawn them quicker, the game will get a chance to spawn in groups of five, which will allow them to have, for example, Gibbles spawn. Right? A Gibbles spawn of five. And we kind of don't want to have that happen, right? We kind of don't want to have five Pokemon that are actually not the same type of Pokemon that we are looking for. So, therefore, we are just doing it slowly and giving the game only a chance to either spawn Roaring Moon or Svilus. That is the technique, the strategy that we are doing right here. Another Roaring Moon was spawning over there. We're gonna go a little bit into that direction. Despawning some of these Pokemon right here. It's funny how it's despawning some of the Pokemon, but at the same time we get more Svilus. I wasn't even looking for that green Svilus. It was just so green. Like, it kind of, like, hurt my eye to see the green one. <laughs> I hope to see uh, a roaring moon in green very, very soon. Would highly appreciate that. Okay, we're gonna despawn some of these Pokemon right here. There we go. Maybe that was a little bit too quick, a little bit too many despawns at the same time. No, actually, not too bad. Some roaring moons over there. Gonna run away from that Svilus. Hopefully we are not getting into another encounter battle where we go left and right and we always encounter a Pokemon. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of a quicker spawn method right now. We're gonna run in circles. That was not a green one, right? No. The thing is with running in circles like that, it's just... It can be really tough. Like on the ice, it can be really tough to just run around in circles like that. And you're also not necessarily guaranteed to spawn in the Pokemon that you want to spawn in. Which in this case is Roaring Moon. We are spawning in, for example, these five Pokemon right here. Which I really, I really don't want. At least not right now. Like, if I get one, I take it. Don't get me wrong. If I get a shiny Graveart, I take one. But look at that. These ten spots, that could all be a Roaring Moon spot. 
So maybe, maybe, maybe I'm gonna do a slower despawning. Because I don't like to have the dogs coming in like that. Or maybe I can just go up here. Because up here, I saw Pomos and Pommies spawn before. Yeah, there we go. Okay, never mind. This is not a good spot. <laughs> I'm really trying to single out these roaring moons. But it is quite difficult. And I'm also afraid to accidentally despawn a Roaring Moon. Especially a shiny Roaring Moon. Okay, let's give the game some time to spawn because we don't really have any Pokemon around us. Okay, we have the dogs right there. That's why we are not getting Pokemon because we have the dogs right there. Despawning that Roaring Moon over there as well as the... Shansi and the Swilus. Doing a slower despawning rate again. I like that more. I don't know why, I just like it more. Ah, oh, these dogs, man. I feel like we are getting to see more roaring moons if we are despawning them slower. Despawned three dogs. Despawned a few more. Lots and lots of these Swilus are out here. Oh, uh, no. If you have been shiny hunting, let me know right now which shinies have you been hunting, which shinies have you been getting lately. Um, I hope you guys are as lucky as I am with my first shiny today where we got a Swilus within like three minutes of the stream. But hopefully this luck will continue with a roaring moon spawn. A shiny Roaring Moon spawn. Doesn't have to be in the next three minutes. As long as it's... Wow, there are a lot of Roaring Moons right here. As long as it's within the next few... Minutes of the sand, which I'm fine. Oh, that spawns a lot, a lot of Roaring Moons. I like to see that. I like to see that. The more Roaring Moons we spawn, the more chances we have to actually get a shiny one. Okay, wasn't the shiny one in the spawn round. Let's go a little bit into that direction. Despawn these two. Let's see what we have. Nothing really. We have the dogs right there again. Don't want to see these dogs. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing too special yet. Gotta be careful. Don't want to run into a Pokemon to have to fight it. Also with this method of the sandwich, if you are going into an area where you only have one specific Pokemon spawn, for example Fluttermane or um, Ancient Donphan, which is great task, in the area that is closer to the time machine you really only give one pokemon the chance to spawn which means that pokemon you can spawn so many in and just run around and hope for one to be shiny it's crazy and i will probably as soon as i find my roaring moon i might change my targets a little bit and just try to to shiny hunt Random Pokemon on the map that only spawn once, like one type on the map. To really give that one specific Pokemon the chance to pop up plenty of times and hopefully be shiny eventually. Okay, okay, okay. Roaring Moons, you guys, you gotta be green. You gotta be green. I think it's funny how even the High Dragon or the Swilus right here, if they are shiny, they, they are supposed to be green.
Oh, almost ran into that. We are giving a lot of groups the chance to spawn right now. We have Gibble right there. We saw the dog earlier. We don't want to get that. We don't want to get that dog or that Gibble spawn going. Okay, let's go into that direction. It's definitely more difficult or I would rather say inconvenient to shiny hunt Roaring Moon down here compared to shiny hunting Iron Valiant because Iron Valiant um, which is the Pokemon that spawns here in Pokemon Violet it's just spawning so much more frequently if you spawn if you uh, increase the fighting type rates you will only get that Pokemon and see it so so many times meanwhile for Roaring Moon it's just not spawning in that one Pokemon that much. Man, I really want another shiny with this sandwich. I'm gonna save the Swilus, so I'm not gonna reset. Because we are taking a shiny no matter what it is, as long as we don't have it already. But I would really appreciate, since it is a Swilus that I have, which I wasn't really hunting for, I would highly appreciate to find maybe another one. Maybe another shiny. Doesn't have to be a Swilus. Could be a Gibble. Could be a Roaring Moon. Could be a Roaring Moon for sure, yeah. We even spawn in Palmios over there. Palmo, Palmies, Palmies and Palmos. That is really the last Pokemon I want to spawn in. Gonna check the dogs, nothing here. Okay, let's slowly, slowly despawn them. There's something right here, which is a Roaring Moon, another Roaring Moon over there. Stop it, stop it. Stop, I said stop it. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna do some quick laps. We're gonna do some quick laps right here. Let's see what we can get. Not like running, running, but just overall some faster despawns and spawns. Obviously, we're gonna get the five spawns of the doggos, as well as the gibbles here and there. But it might give us a few more spawns when it comes to Roaring Moon 2. No, we're just, that's the thing, we're really just getting these five spawns. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, all right, okay, I take it. It is, it is a green one. It is a green one. It's not the right green one that we were looking for, but it is a green one. Um, I'm gonna try to put it to sleep yet again. So our second shiny, another Swilus. We can definitely evolve that one into Hydreigon at some point. So we actually get two of the shinies that we, we were looking for. I take it, I take it. Is a Hydreigon just a level specific evolution? Or do we have to do something to evolve it? Do we have to give it like an item? I think it's just a level level evolution, right? So let's just evolve that one. Let's just evolve that one. Because why not? We have two of them. There we go, another shiny Swilus. Just looking around, want to see if I'm missing out on something else. Roaring Moon up there. Okay, let's evolve that one real quick. They are both asleep, that's fine. Oh, that one's level, level 58, I'm taking that. There we go. It's not evolving, when is it evolving?
When is Swalus evolving? Wait, let me see. It evolves at level 64. Okay, so we actually need to level it up quite a bit. Luckily, I have a lot of uh, candy right here that we can use for that. There we go, level 64. Swilus is evolving. What? Swilus is evolving. All right, let's check it out. We're gonna have a green high dragon, which is a really cool Pokemon. Look at it. That is really, really dope looking. Very, very nice. Ooh, there we go. So this is actually giving us another Pokemon that we can now put on our list when it comes to shiny hunting. Let's actually change the... Last Pokemon that we caught in shiny because it is a Swilus right here. There we go. We have the Swilus. Really, really nice. Absolutely like it. That is a cool Pokemon. I'm happy with that. I am definitely happy with that. But you know what I would be have more happy about? Roaring Moon. And I know I'm spending some time to, you know, evolve that Pokemon and set it up right here. So the last caught Pokemon is the shiny Swilus. But I'm taking that time. I am taking that time and hopefully we will find another green one maybe 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 a green roaring moon that would be something super super impressive we have one flying right here not green maybe you can even find a shiny gibble which gibble is not that super impressive when it comes to shinies like the gibble and the gibite super super cool but then got jump sadly Kind of like lost a little bit of its uh, shiny touch. But let's see what else we can get. No, they are not shiny. Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon. Man, we got two dragons already. So we are definitely having a good time with the shinies right here. We just gotta get the right one. Just gotta get the right dragon. Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon. We have seven more minutes. Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon. Both of them in the wrong color. We are running right into one. I got a Shiren, uh, I got an Iron, a shiny Iron Valiant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Iron Valiant, I feel like down here is definitely a little bit more accessible. Compared to Roaring Moon. Okay, let's spawn. I was just about to say, let's spawn in a couple of Pokemon by despawning them. But, well, we are running into that one. Despawning a couple of them right here. We should have some Pokemon spawn. Where are they? Oh, it's the dogs. It's the Gibble. It's the Gibble formation. Man, I am despawning. And spawning Pokemon so quick. I'm still super super afraid that I will at some point despawn the shiny Roaring Moon. Alright, let's see. Come on, let me go. I already got you. Twice in green. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Roy Moons are spawning in. I like to see them. Again, even when they are not shiny, I like to see them more than like a Pommy group over there. Like, why would I want a Pommy group? Even when they are not shiny, at least I know I had the chance to spawn it in and shiny. Gibbles, Gibbles, we have Roaring Moons right here. More Roaring Moons, more Gibbles, more Dogs, no, 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 no. Oh! Just gotta be careful. Roaring Moon right here. Come on, there should be a... 
there should be more roaring moons on the screen right now. Well, there are a lot of gibbers on the screen. That explains a lot. Uh, not running into you. Not running into you. Let's despawn them slower. Give some Roaring Moons the chance to spawn. There's one right behind me. I'm out of here. I, uh, I'm out of here. Okay, two Roaring Moons over there. One is flying up there. Another one right there. Okay, okay, okay. So at the rate... That we were getting Swilus. My calculation is that we should get a Roaring Moon in Shiny very, very soon. Maybe not with this sandwich, but I'm gonna definitely keep the, the Shinies that we just caught. Man, these two Gibble ra uh, groups. We're gonna keep the Shinies with this sandwich, but we're gonna go in again. We gotta go in again. Come on, Roaring Moon. Maybe we have a last minute, minute Roaring Moon. We have three more minutes. Maybe we have a green last minute Roaring Moon. Oh, no way. <laughs> I mean, it is green, right? It is green. <laughs> it is <laughs> this is the third already. Um, Svilus, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're keeping the spirits up. You're keeping the shiny spirits up right here. It's not the Roaring Moon that is popping up, but it is the Svilus that is really, really... Coming through. Come on, please just fall asleep. Like, this is just taking away time from another Roaring Moon that I could get. There we go. Toten in the chat says, you're going for Roaring Moon? Yes, Roaring Moon is the target right now. But we are getting Svilus. So this is the third Svilus that we are getting right now. Within these 30 minutes. I also think I didn't update uh, I think I didn't update the number of shinies we have in total. There we go. Another Svilus is coming through. As I said, I appreciate it. It's here at least I'm a shiny dragon. I mean yeah, at least I'm the at least I'm a green dragon, right? Imagine getting a shiny roaring moon in the last second. I know I'm at- Oh no! I think I despawned a shiny Breezel up there. If you guys want to, you can rewind the stream real quick. And that Breezel formation over there, Breezel, I am telling you right now, there was one that was very, very yellow. I literally think I despawned a shiny. There was a shiny Breezel, which is the first shiny that I ever caught in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus. It's not the worst shiny to despawn. I would be more upset if I despawned a shiny Roaring Moon. But still, it was potentially a shiny that I despawned. Maybe someone can rewind the stream and tell me that it wasn't a shiny. That would make me really happy. No, not the dogs. Come on. We have 23 seconds. There are some Roaring Moons. Oh man, in these last 20 seconds to get a shiny Roaring Moon. So unlikely. I 
I think we just gotta accept those three shiny spiders that we got right here. And that is it for now. Not too bad. Uh, I rewatched, but I can't tell if it was shiny or not. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, then let's just say it wasn't the shiny. Let's just say I didn't miss out on the shiny right there. That would be something that I would uh, prefer anyway. <sighs> Nikki Bro says, I have to go, but I will be back. All right, thank you so much for stopping by and I'm waiting you. I'm waiting for you here. I got mine yesterday. I got seven Swilos in total before the Roaring Moon. Okay, that is crazy. Hopefully, we're gonna find one a little bit quicker. Um, let me go into my boxes. Um, this one, I think, is a broken Coridon. I can't release Coridon. It's a broken Coridon. I don't know what's happening with that one. Okay, this one was the first one. This one was the second one. And this one was the third one. Look at it. Wait. I actually have to look at it. It is beautiful. I like it. I do like it. It is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. How do I get rid of this broken one? Uh, let me see. I have no idea. Kind of weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, sandwich. Sandwich time. We're going to save again. I'm telling you right now, if we find another three Svilus, I am resetting my sandwich. If we find a different shiny, I might keep the sandwich, I might keep the shiny. But if we are finding another three Svilus or another shiny Svilus, I'm gonna reset it because... Why do I have these Coridons, man? Okay, there we go. Gonna, we, we, we gotta feed the Coridons. Um, creative mode. I think I remember it. Onion, green pepper, um, hamburger... Avocado, two pieces of it. And that should be it, right? <whistles> Gonna start with the tomatoes, as always. One, two, three. Nicely placed. The onions on the right side. This is just the Grizzly Original. Tasty Grizzly Original, how I created the hamburger will go here and now the avocado will go two pieces two slices of avocado on each side left and right and two in the middle on the burger oh that one left us never mind that's fine and we're done finishing it off with a little pick right here let's see let's see let's see let's see Greninja the and Gudra Trainer, nice to see you in the chat. We have Shiny Pikachu here. Nice to see you. We just went through 30 minutes of our first sandwich, and that 30 minutes of our first sandwich was giving us quite a successful hunt. We got three shinies, which was all Smilus. And we are again going in with the dragon power. Which is kind of kind of interesting. Because I don't want to come out here with another Spider's Swarm. Does anyone know how I can get rid of this uh, one Coridon right here? Let me see, let me see. What if I... I'm a little bit confused. Um... There we go. There, it is gone. It is gone. Okay. So I was trying something out um, for a video which was duplicating items um, and that is kind of giving you like a fake Coridon. Just had to get rid of that. <laughs> Alright, okay. I haven't used the sandwich feature yet. Cool. The sandwich feature, I'm telling you right now, late game, when you are trying to shiny hunt, very, very important. Very, very important. Because with these sandwiches, as you can see right here, you have dragon power and like encounter power and sparkling power up by level 3. Which means if you are in an area which spawns dragons, you will have 
only dragons spawn there. Right here, this is an area where no dragons spawn. That's why I have um, Giraffic and Farik Giraffe right here. But if we go in to this little area right here where we have dragon spawn, we will only have dragon spawn. Only the dragon type Pokemon will spawn. And that is really, really good. And these dragon types, they are shiny boosted as well. Which means with the shiny charm and the sparkling sandwich, what is your what is your shiny rate at? One out of seven hundred or one out of five hundred twelve? So you definitely have a way way better shiny chance. And if you are, for example, having just one single Pokemon spawn here, you can just run around, spawn that one specific Pokemon, and really really have a high chance to get that one in shiny. It's such a good shiny hunting method, and I mean, we saw it. Within 30 minutes, I got three shiny green Swilus. Even though I am not looking for them, I definitely take them. I actually might give away one. We actually might give away one of these. Again, all the duplicate shiny Pokemon that we are getting will be given away at some point. So we are giving away the shiny Pokemon that we will find that I have plenty of. And Swilus, I have one that I don't need. I want the shiny living decks, right? I want the shiny living decks. That one Gibble right there. Sometimes they just look a little bit off and I have to double check. Um, we want the shiny decks, so we want each Pokemon once in shiny. But if we are having several of the same type, these will go into... Our giveaway which will be for members so if you are a member on the YouTube channel you will get a chance to get some of the shinies that we are catching here live on stream and I know you can always you know just recreate the shiny hunting strategies that we are doing right here and catch your own shinies which is definitely something that I highly encourage you guys to do make these sandwiches and get out there Catch your own shinies. But of course, you can always win one right here if you are in the members only Discord. And they will have me as original trainer. Which, I don't know, it's kind of cool to have that. But, ah, oh man. I'm, I'm having a hard time talking, rotating the camera, and shiny checking for the shiny Roaring Moon. Uh, we have a 1 in 512 odds. Okay, okay. That is, as I said, that's such a high chance to get a shiny. Especially if I was looking for Swilus right here, I would have a great time. Just because they spawn in plenty. Roaring Moon on the other side. A little bit more difficult. But let's despawn these Pokemon a little bit slower and give some Roaring Moons the chance to spawn. There we have two. Gonna despawn a few more. Swilus. Roaring Moon over here. Despawn a little bit more. The Gibbles. Gibbles are gone. Why are we getting all these Swilus, man? Roaring Moon, okay. Roaring Moon, okay. I appreciate you guys spawning in for me. Again, I would rather have a non shiny Roaring Moon than anything else spawning in because if it's a non-shiny Roaring Moon at least the chance was there for it to be shiny. If I'm finding another green Zwilus, I don't know man. I don't know if I will be happy. The <laughs> Zwilus are kind of my worst enemy in this cave. Holly actually found the the, the two dogs. Like the Gravat and the evolution of Gravat in Shiny in this cave while hunting for Iron um, Valiant. Which is super interesting because she was boosting fighting types. So these Pokemon, these dog Pokemon, they are not Shiny boosted or anything. But she found them both in this cave while Shiny hunting for Iron Valiant before getting the Iron Valiant in Shiny. Uh, I don't like the Gibble spawns too much. Because again, they are taking away from the Roaring Moon. But I would also really appreciate a Gibble that is shiny. Or a Gabite, of course. Where did that Roaring Moon go? 
I was not supposed to despawn like that. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. We are despawning Pokemon that I haven't really looked at. Don't like that. Don't like to despawn a Roaring Moon at some point. That might potentially be... Man, these Gibbles... The Gibble doesn't really look too much different. It has... I think it has a little bit of a yellow belly. So we can take a closer look at the bellies now. That will be a better indicator if it is shiny or not. The dogs again. So far, this sandwich hasn't given us anything too good. Yes, you got the drank spawns. Yes, I see that. But we didn't even get a Swilus. Which is okay. Okay, I'm not complaining. I Don't get me wrong. This is absolutely fine. This is okay. Not getting another green Swilus. I'm happy. I am not asking for another Swilus. Okay, game, listen. I don't want another green Swilus. I appreciate you giving me three, and that's it. I don't need more, okay? Give me one of the flying dragons. One that actually can fly. With only one head. No, oh, not the dogs. Can the dogs please not spawn? Okay, we're gonna despawn the dogs a little bit slower. There we have a Roaring Moon. A bunch of Roaring Moons now. After despawning the dogs a little bit slower. Let's keep on despawning a little bit slower. Oh, that was too fast. We already got the dogs again. Okay. Nothing too special yet. There are so many Smilus. Like, seriously, I don't want another green Smilus. I appreciate you guys coming through like that, but... Roaring Moon is what I want. Out of this cave. I am not leaving this cave without a... S s flying Salamence. The ancient Salamence, Roaring Moon. Telling you right now. Not leaving this cave without it. I did that yesterday. We were streaming yesterday. And at some point, I decided to not go for the Roaring Moon anymore. Because it is definitely a little bit more difficult to spawn them in right here. And it definitely might take some time to spawn in the shiny one as well. But I am not leaving again. Not without it. Not without you. Roaring Moon, you hear me? I'm not leaving without you. Not again. I, <laughs> I love how everything is okay, but as soon as the dogs appear... Oh no, not the dogs. I, everything is okay because everything is shiny boosted, right? Like the Gibbles, they're okay. If I get a shiny Gibble, it's okay. I don't mind. But the dogs are just not shiny boosted, so I would rather have Gibble take over that spawn rather than seeing the dogs that are not really having a higher chance of being shiny boosted. I think if, if I would go into this cave and boost... Shiny odds for Ghost? We might have a good time with the with the dogs. And probably Flutter Main too. I think Flutter Main boost uh, is also helpful in this cave. But if I wanted to go for, for the dogs, I think putting the ghost type sandwich down right here would be definitely a good way to do that. 
The giver? Is that a family? Are there more givers in the wall? Paw mo, paw me. Don't want to see you either. Okay, we're gonna run around in circles a little bit quicker again. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I run around in circles a little bit quicker, we might see uh, at least a shiny gibble. That could be cool. I would take a shiny gibble. I could take a roaring moon at any day now. Like, not, not even... Like, do we have a single roaring moon on this map? Is this the right cave? Oh, there's one. Spyloos. The dogs. Okay, okay, okay. Just running away from them. Or well, running right into them. Leo, nice to see you in the chat. Um, we have Let's Talk Wild in the chat asking, where is this cave? This cave can be found on the third research ground. The, the third um, research station that you can find in Ground Zero. And you have to kind of like go when you are leaving the third research sta station, you go to the left. And at some point you will find a stone formation. And that storm formation, you can just kind of like make your way through that and you will enter that cave. And here you can find the ancient settlements, which is Roaring Moon, in the cave when you are... In case you are playing Pokemon Scarlet and if you are playing Pokemon Violet, you can find the future form of Gallade and God of War, which is Iron Valiant. It is a very, very nice cave to be in, but currently I don't see a single Salamence. Let's despawn slower again. Let's despawn slower. There we go. There we go. Despawning a little bit slower. We have Oh! It is! It is so yellow! It's just, it's just popping up right here. Uh, what? It is running away from me! Come back! Yes! <laughs> it is so yellow! How is it so yellow? I thought it was a little bit more, like, not as yellow. I thought it was yellow, yes, but I thought it was a little bit more, like, not as visible. Now I understand why why you can not re- I, I was always thinking that I would miss this dog because it's probably underground and it's super difficult to get. Uh, let me just, you know, change our latest Pokemon that we found in Shiny. Because that is now the Grave Art. Wait, wait. Grr. How do you spell this dog's name? Okay, we got, we're just gonna catch it real quick. That is actually super cool. I'm actually super happy about that. Oh, I should have used the Dusk Ball on the shiny Swilus. Alright, okay, okay. And there we go. We have the shiny Gravard. Absolutely beautiful. I do like it, actually. Um, okay, I saw how you actually write it. I misspelled it. There it is. Very, very cool. I'm actually super happy to have that. Oops. The only thing that is... Uh, interesting about that is that we are not really finding... The shiny that we want. Okay, 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 okay. I take everything back that I said about the shiny dogs, about the dogs. That they spawn here and that, that I don't want them. I take that back. 
I take it back. I take it back. Not that I necessarily want them to spawn here. But they're cool little encounters. To have them in, in shiny all of a sudden. That's super cool. Gibble right here. We have Slither Wing. Uh, not Slither Wing. Slither Wing is Ancient Volo. Volcarona. Um, it is Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon that is appearing right here. Where do we have... Yeah, I think... I have to be honest, I think I saw a shiny Breezel earlier. Seeing the Breezels over there again... It's giving me a very, very strong feeling... That I actually saw a shiny one. I'm still thinking that the dogs and like all the Pokemon that you see while you are having a boost on... Have the shiny boost. I'm still thinking that. I don't know. I'm just very confident in that. Because usually all the Pokemon that you see should be Dragon. And they only spawn other Pokemon in when there is no Dragon type. And I don't know what's with these dogs. Why, they, why the dogs spawn. Because we clearly have a lot of Dragon spawn in right here. But for some reason I still feel that they are also shiny boosted. Alright. I am actually super happy about the shiny dog. I just wasn't... I just was not expecting that to happen. Not at all. Not with the dragon boost. Paw me right there. We have another... Roaring moon. A lot of Swilus. Roaring moon. I appreciate it though. It is making the shiny hunt for Roaring Moon a little bit more fun. Because Roaring Moon is a difficult spawn in this cave. So at least getting a few other shinies that I can put on the list. is very very exciting. Talking about putting it on the list, I didn't change the number, right? So now we have, see, have a total of 11. There we go. Let's despawn these Pokemon a little bit slower. Oh, never mind. That was very quick. Where are all the Pokemon? Literally two Pokemon are on the field. There we go. Roaring Moon, come on, spawn in. Thank you. And now spawn in in green. Roaring Moon in green. And three, two, one. Uh, just give me a second. Roaring Moon in green in three, two, one. I, I, uh, uh, not really getting any Roaring Moons. There we go. Oh, we actually got a few. There's another one. Might be the best strategy to just go back and forth in this cave. I've got the great task from the same sandwich that I got this little wing from. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is very lucky for you. Yes. I mean, that is what you want to do, right? Like, you want to use one sandwich. And as soon as you find a shiny with that sandwich, you just want to try and get another one. Just take the time that you have and really make the best out of it. I, on average, feel like I see... Three Roaring Moons every minute. If I see th three Roaring Moons every minute, that is giving me around 100 Roaring Moons with every sandwich that I use. Which is not a lot, but if we have a 1 in 150 chance, that is not necessarily the worst outcome. Because it is such a cool Pokemon and I am definitely willing to to shiny hunt that for a little bit longer. If we are not getting lucky with this sandwich, I'm going to put in another one. And I'm going to definitely keep the shiny. I'm not resetting. 
I know, I don't know. The, the Herba Mystica to get them is really, really difficult. Well, not not really, really difficult, but it is just time consuming, I would say. Just have to do it over and over again. And. Maybe if I would have seen like another Swilus in Shiny, I wouldn't have kept that Shiny. Would rather have uh, wanted to reset the sandwich because, again. It's taking a long time to get these sandwiches. And the shiny that we get should be worth it. If it's not the Roaring Moon that we get out of the sandwich, the shiny that we get should be worth it. And I feel like a Swilus that we already have three of now wouldn't be the Pokemon that I would consider worth it. Okay, despawning these Pokemon a little bit slower to hopefully get some more Roaring Moons. Stop chasing me, no. Sounds like something is chasing me the entire time. This water turned brown. Was it always that brown? From now on I will also check the dogs. Should I just look straight? Should I just look straight and only like run in circus and look straight and if there's a Pokemon behind me I shouldn't care about it? Since it doesn't have to be a specific Hero Mystica, it's pretty okay to get them. Yes, that's what I mean. It is still, it is pretty okay, but it's still definitely a time consuming process. So in my opinion, if I get a shiny that is worth it, yes I'm gonna keep it. If I get a shiny that is a shiny I already have three times. Like again, if I would have gotten another three Swilus, I would probably have reset the game. Because yes, Swilus is cool, shiny, looks dope. I do like it. But at the same time, if you have so many of them, what are you gonna do with them? Right? What's the plan? kind of like in Pokemon Go. In Pokemon Go you you get a good chance of getting specific shinies on for example community days. And for me it's always like all right, I'm going to get around 9 shinies. One to keep, one to evolve, one to evolve into the third form if they have three forms of course, it's 9. Then um I have six more in storage in case I want to trade. But that's a lot. I only need basically three. And in Pokemon Go you can really like expand your storage, your Pokemon boxes. So that works. But in this game right here, I just want each Pokemon in shiny once. Especially the Roaring Moon right now. We have five more minutes left. I would not say that we were unlucky because getting the Grey Vard definitely not unlucky but when it comes to the roaring moon spawns I don't know we didn't get a lot of roaring moon spawns not at all He's spawning them a little bit slower again. This is uh, basically minimizing the chance of getting these three groups of other Pokemon. Or five groups is what I meant. Five groups of... Group of five of other Pokemon. But at the same time, it's only spawning in Swilus or Roaring Moons. But at this point, is that even the smart thing to do? 
Shouldn't I just have everything spawn in and hope for another last shiny to pop up? Wow, there are a lot of flutter mains right here. I think I'm just gonna run in circles and hope for another shiny to pop up. And it doesn't even matter which one it is. Because my sandwich time is running out, I am not too confident to find the Roaring Moon with this sandwich. So we might just go for another shiny, whatever it is. Let's keep going. People are going all out for community day. I'm like, no, five is good for me. I need two good ones and three to trade. Exactly. I mean, that's basically how I want to have it, right? Like, I want to have some to trade. If When I said I need nine, it's usually when there is an evolution of three. For example, Spilus. The dino one, I want nine of them. Of them because now I would have two dinos to trade. I would have two spiders to trade. I would have two Hydreigons to trade. And on top of that, I would have one dino... Spilus and Hydreigon for myself. That's what I meant with nine of them. I basically want one for myself and two to trade of each evolution stage. So if there's a Pokemon that has, for example, no evolution, I usually just catch three and I'm good. But this is Pokemon Go, it's a little bit different there. Okay, come on, we are running. Uh, we are running around trying to get one more shiny within the time frame, which is two minutes. Can we get another shiny in two minutes? Challenge accepted. We're gonna get one. I'm telling you right now, we're gonna get one. Might not be the Roaring Moon, which is fine. We're gonna get one. If it's a Swi if it's a Swilus, I want to catch it in a in a Dusk Ball. I kind of missed that opportunity. I usually want to catch my shinies in a Pokeball that actually matches the Pokemon. For example, the um, Brute Bonnet or Brute Bonnet. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. The Ancient Amoongus. I caught in a Great Ball. Or well, which one is the blue one? The blue ball, because it is basically the Pokemon resembling that Pokeball. Come on, I said I would get another shiny. No matter what the shiny. But I think maybe that goal was a little bit too high. There is not a single Pokemon popping up that is shiny at all. Okay, I think my timer is about to end. Not resetting. We have the dog. I take it. Still a slight chance, we still have a few seconds left. Ooh, it spawns in a lot of roaring moons right now. It spawns in a few roaring moons right here. Maybe I should do that route, just going to the left and the right. Ah, uh, we have. Pommies right here though. Pommies take away from the spawns. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Okay. That sandwich is gone too, but we take it, we take it, we take it. We're gonna get out of the cave real quick. And we're gonna get ready for our next sandwich. Um, I'm gonna shiny hunt a roaring moon just to see if I can get it faster than you. Okay, Eggernest, I see you in the chat. I wish you the best of luck, but I also hope that I will get it faster than you. I'm really, really hoping for me to get it faster. 
Um, because I have been shiny hunting it for almost two hours yesterday already. But just look at the dog right here that we have. We have Greyvard. So we can go into our shiny box. I think I have to move all of these Pokemon a little bit very soon. Because we are filling up the shiny box a lot. Okay, let's move this one over here. And let's take a look at our latest shiny that we just caught. It is Greyvard. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Ghost type Pokemon that we caught. It is still asleep. Is it even asleep when it's in the box? That's interesting. Okay. So we are going to save right here because again, we're going to keep that dog. We are not resetting the sandwich. And we are going to open up another picnic for another dragon type sandwich. Um, the spawn rates uh, are pretty terrible. It's a lot easier to get Herba now. That is true. It is a lot easier to get the Herba Mystica though. As long as you're not hosting the raid, even if you lose, you get the rewards. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, I think I heard of that. I think I heard of that. People be going all out for community day. I already read that one. Um, I hope you can catch all 400 shiny Pokemon. Um, there are a few shiny Pokemon that I can't get because they are shiny locked. But I definitely am trying to get as many of the shiny Pokemon as possible. And slowly running out of bitter and spicy Herpa Mystica. But it doesn't really matter. Just gonna... Oh no, I accidentally clicked the wrong one. There we go. Uh, it's Onion. It's... Pepper, it's... Can I take that off? I'm not sure if it matters if I put them into the right... Okay, right order. There we go. Look at the dog. I know, right? It is... It is... I actually... When I saw it for the first time, at least the second evolution... I have to say I didn't like it too much. I didn't like it too much. But I feel like the yellow on the first evolution is a little bit more visible. A little bit easier to spot. And just overall more colorful and therefore just a better shiny in my opinion. I'm really trying to speedrun the sandwiches right here. Without messing them up of course. Uh, ah, okay, never mind. That is gone. That looks fine though. But, but... There we go. That should be fine. That should be another dragon sandwich for us. I'm telling you this sandwich will lure in the shiny Roaring Moon. That's the sandwich. That is the one. That is the one. Just look at it. It's perfect. Literally perfect sandwich. A tasty, grizzly, original, boosting, dragon, encounter, and sparkling type. That's exactly what we want. Gonna get our picnic back right here. And we're gonna go back into ground zero. Um, there was someone in the chat earlier asking how to get into that cave. You can watch me right now accessing that cave. Again, you're gonna go to the research station number three. It's research station number three. I know I went into re just when I want to show how it's being done, I go into the wrong one. Research station number three. And as soon as you're here, you're leaving that station and you look to your left. You go the path that goes a little bit to the left, not down into the cave, not down into the uh, area where we have all the crystals and the time machine. Not right here. You just go to the left. And here you will see that big tree. I think that big tree is a great waypoint. So you see that big tree? Right next to the big tree you want to take a turn to the left. Because there we have the entrance of the cave. And we are finding our drag... How? We never really saw the gabites just spawning like that. Alright Roaring Moon, it is time. It's your time to shine. I'm gonna go and be very very strict with my spawns. I'm gonna go from one side to another. Not running, not running. If you're running, you're not giving the Pokemon enough time to load into the game. That Roaring Moon looked funny because of the Palmies right next to it. It's just like trampling all over the Palmies. Okay, how are we doing it? I kind of want to have like a simple route that I can just go kind of like back and forth with. But kind of like slowly, because if we do it slowly, we're gonna... 
only spawn Roaring Moons and Swilus. I mean, I still want the Gibble, but don't necessarily have to shiny hunt for a Gibble right now. Okay, so let's do it slowly. Gonna despawn them. We're gonna just go from left to right. That's how we do it. I despawned a lot very, very quick right there. And I spawned the Pommies. I don't... I, I cannot have the Pommies right behind me. I'm gonna shiny hunt Psyduck from an outbreak. Alright, good luck with you. With your Psyduck hunt. We gotta get rid of the Pommies. Can't have the Pommies behind us. There we go. And the Grey Vard is there too. There's one Roaring Moon. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're just gonna go from one side to another. We're gonna look around. Gonna make them despawn a little bit slower. Oh, it is spawning in a lot of Roaring Moons. Okay, okay, okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. So far, I like it. Gonna despawn these over there. Roaring Moons are popping in. I like that, I like that. Shiny checking a lot of Roaring Moons right here. Sadly, without any success yet. But I like that. I would rather see 10 Roaring Moons that are not shiny than one group of Pommies. Okay, we're gonna go back. We have a bunch of Roaring Moons over there. Gonna do it slowly. Gonna despawn them slowly. Lots of Roaring Moons are coming in. I feel like I have my... Nah. I feel like I have the strategy figured out that I want to use. We're gonna use the slow despawn and spawn rate. Stop it. Stop it. And we're gonna go through the middle of the cave. That is how we do it. We're gonna spawn and despawn. Stop it. No! <laughs> I ran into it. So that's what, what I want to do. I want to go into the middle of the cave, back and forth, and I'm trying to get that Roaring Moon to spawn. It works really, really well. I feel like that is giving us a lot of Roaring Moon spawns right now. Gonna despawn a few Pokemon right here. We have some spawns available. Okay, they are Dinos. They are Dinos. So let's go into that direction. He's spawning a few Pokemon, not too many at the same time. You always want to be cautious of how many Pokemon you despawn at the same time. Stop it, Roaring Moon. Stop it, Roaring Moon. If you're not shiny, I am not running into you. You make really cool videos. Black Knight, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. That means a lot. I'm glad that you're enjoying the videos. Okay, let's spawn in some beautiful Roaring Moons right here. There are probably a few in front of me right now. No, not really. Actually, nothing is in front of me. Let's despawn a lot. Roaring Moons, okay. Despawn a few more. There we go. Okay, let's go into the other direction now. Starting to despawn Pokemon right there. Giving us more Smilus. Okay, okay, okay. It is a little bit of a slower rate at which we are seeing Pokemon. But again, we are limiting the spawns to Swilus as well as the Roaring Moons that we want to have in Shiny. And I think it's absolutely fine if we find the Swilus in Shiny. Oops. And we are just resetting the, the Sandwich. If we are not getting a Roaring Moon too. But this is kind of like singling out the Pokemon. Instead of having all the Grave Arts and Pommies and Gibbles and Gibbites spawning. We are singling out the spawns. 
And I do like to see a lot of Roaring Moons at the same time. Like it's just a it's just a beautiful Pokemon. Despawn a few. Spawn a few new. You despawn one, you spawn one. It's a dino for a dino. A dragon for a dragon. An eye for an eye. A spawn, a despawn for a spawn. Okay, I think I have to turn around. Because we are at the end of the wall and we have Ancient Roy Moon chasing after me. Man, that if these Pokemon are carrying items and they are using them, it just sometimes sounds a little bit like it's a shiny Pokemon, right? And that is just that is just brutal. Now I know the pain you're feeling. Again, um Agner Nest. As I said, I wish you all the best luck for your Roaring Moon. But I'm still hoping I would find mine faster than you find yours. I'm attempting to get them a little bit slower right now again. The slower you do it. Not necessarily the slower you do it, but if you do it slower, you are having a higher chance of getting a roaring moon again okay I think I'm too close to the water now we are spawning the Pokemon on the water okay we are going around we have four roaring moons over there one spawned in right there sadly not the right one let's despawn these Pokemon what are we getting what are we getting in exchange more Swilus? Come on. Okay, there are some there are some Roaring Moons right here. I like it, I like it. Like overall, uh, across the entire field, we see quite some Roaring Moons. This might still be one of the best techniques to spawn Roaring Moons more frequently. Oh, Swilus, stop it. I ran into it. Super Sand, nice to see you in the chat. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, I think I despawned a little bit too quick because I saw the, the dogs right here. That's fine. We're just going to keep on slowly despawning and spawning in new Pokemon. And eventually we're going to despawn the dogs too. Let's go into that direction to despawn them. Oh, where did you come from, my friend? <sighs> Roaring Moon. We're going to get you today. You're gonna get that Roaring Moon. Yeah, we definitely are spawning in a lot of Roaring Moons. Stop it. They are just Swilus everywhere. And this one! Swilus just chasing me. Okay, this is not what I am looking for, okay? When I slowly despawn them and I get them the I give them the chance to have either Swilus or Roaring Moons. I'm not looking for an entire field of Swilus, okay? Okay, now I went too close to the water. It seems like the water has a lot of spawns. As soon as you're too close to the water, it's just spawning Pokemon there. Okay, two Roaring Moons. A tiny one too. This one is really tiny. It's funny. Gotta make our way over there. Only spawned in a few Roy Moons. We gotta have some higher Roaring Moon spawns coming through.
Where is it? Where is the shiny roaring moon? I told you guys that this is the sandwich. Alright, we have some roaring moons again. I like that more than I like seeing all these Twilus. I told you guys, this is the sandwich. You just gotta be a little bit patient. I just gotta be a little bit patient. That's all there is. That's all there is to say. There we go. All of a sudden we have a lot of roaring moons on the map. I do like that. Wow, 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 wow. Lots and lots of roaring moons right here. Okay, we are back to the Swilus. It's like a Swilus outbreak right here. Stop following me. I start to understand how to spawn in these Pokemon. I start to understand how to spawn in these Pokemon properly, but it's just not spawning the right Pokemon for me. It's really giving me the Swilus. And I can't really affect the spawns of the Roaring Moons and the Swilus, right? I can only affect that there are no groups of five Pokemon spawning. But the Swilus, man, they take away a lot of spots. And not even the Swilus are shiny yet. Right? Like, not even a, a Swilus was coming in shiny. Which, again, if we are getting a shiny Swilus, I'm gonna reset the game. Care for another shiny Swilus, I'm sorry. I know this one Swilus was just yelling at me for saying that, but that's okay. Lots and lots of Roaring Moons, again, I like that to comparison in comparison to seeing all these other Pokemon, but they are still not green. Is there a be better mes method to Shiny Hunt Roaring Moon? Carlos, nice to see you in the chat. How are you doing today? Um, how is it? Nice to see you. Uh, Milan, we have Ryan. This has been the hardest paradox for me to find so far. Good luck. Agreed, agreed. Um, I think all the other paradox Pokemon, you can single them out a little bit better. And it spawns them a little bit more frequently. And that's the main key point to Roaring Moon right here being so difficult. It, the spawn rate compared to the Swilus is a little bit lower and therefore it's just spawning in so many other Pokemon and again if you're doing it too fast you will have groups of other Pokemon spawning in which you want to avoid too because if you have groups of other Pokemon spawning in it is just taking away the spots of the Salamence to come in. Right there we have a group of uh, the dogs, Gravard and again, if you have a group of Grey Bards right there, those could be five uh, Salamence. This could be five Roaring Moons. So what you want to do is you want to slowly despawn them. And only give single spawns the chance to come into the game. Now we have a lot of these single spawns on the map. We slowly want to despawn them. Basically, slowly want to despawn them to get more Roaring Moons, more Swilus, sadly, more Swilus too. But we want to slowly despawn them to get more Roaring Moons. And potentially, our shiny Roaring Moon. Hopefully, at some point. Slowly, slowly despawning them. A lot of Swilus right here, as I mentioned. There's a... 
Salamence. A Roaring Moon. I should start calling him Roaring Moon. It is a Roaring Moon. Lots of, a field of Smilus is right there, just staring at me. One Roaring Moon in the middle. Hopefully, as soon as I despawn them, we might have some more Roaring Moons. All of them are gone. Ooh, look at them. Man, could you imagine that the middle one was a shiny one? That would have been such a beautiful, beautiful view. Okay, slowly despawning the Pokemon again. We have this Roaring Moon that is probably trying to chase after me in just a moment. Gotta do a little bit of a 360 to escape them. I don't want to run too fast away from them. Because if I do, we're gonna despawn too quick. We're gonna despawn too many Pokemon too quick. Okay. Oh! Tomato, onion, uh, green pepper, hamburger, two avocados, and two of any of them is a level three for dragon counter, shiny and catching. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ryan, that's the sandwich that I use too. That's why we are only seeing the Roy Moons and Swilus right here. Again, Swilus kind of like a. Just a negative byproduct of having only dragons in this cave. Would really, really appreciate to just see Roaring Moons. It's just so different than Pokemon Violet where you have only Iron Valiant spawn in this, in this map. And I, I mean, you also have sometimes some Pommies and sometimes some uh, of the Gravats if you are despawning too quick. But even when you despawn too quick, you are having such a high chance of getting... The Iron Valiant. Okay, this actually looks really good. I like to see that. Like, that is something that I like to see. All these Roaring Moons. I can't believe we didn't even find the Smilus in Shiny yet. Like, considering how fast we found them earlier. Seems like we are just really unlucky with the sandwich or the, uh, the entire uh, shiny luck is charging up right now for a roaring moon. Could you stop chasing me like that? And I have a Mystic Gas and the only way to get shiny power. No, you can, I think, get shiny power. Uh, you, I think you can get shiny power differently. But if you want to have level 3 shiny power and level 3 everything. You have to have the Herba Mystica. This is the most important thing. And I highly recommend you to go for it. Go for level 3 only. There's no reason to not have a level 3. And with that being said. To get a level 3 sandwich. Yes, the Herba Mystica is the only way to get a level 3 sandwich. I was looking for another way to get shiny Roaring Moon. But there's none. Seems like Roaring Moon is just one of the harder ones to get. I appreciate that. I would have hoped for a different answer though, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We are despawning them a little bit slower. We despawned quite a lot right there. Like there's literally no Pokemon on the map right now. I feel like this area right here is forcing me to despawn so many without spawning some. So I don't want I don't want to go over there again. Just gonna go into that direction a little bit more. Okay, now we have spawns coming in again. Gonna despawn them. Gonna despawn them. Slowly but surely despawning the Pokemon. This one, Smilus, man. Just give up. It's not giving up. It's never gonna give me up. Yeah, only Smilus right here. And this one Roaring Moon. I appreciate you. This one Roaring Moon just... Being there to show that there are Roaring Moons in this cave somewhere. Been a two day hunt for me so far. Um, well, I mean... Oh no, I forgot the day are so fast. Well, for me you could say the same. I did one and a half to two hours yesterday. 
Um, and I am continuing today. I don't want to leave this cave until I have one. I don't want to leave this cave until I have one, though. He's hard, whether you do level 3 Dark or uh, Dark or Dragon. Yeah, the cave is always filled with other Pokemon. Still can't believe I missed out on a shiny Breezel earlier. Not that I care too much about the Breezel. Trying to get away from these Pokemon. I love the new Salamence form. Um, Roaring Moon is definitely a super, super cool Pokemon. I do like it too. Um, I personally don't necessarily like the shiny form too much, to be honest. But the Pokemon is just great and I just, you know, just want to have it. Even though I don't necessarily like the shiny form too much, I just want to have it in shiny. Like, it's such a cool Pokemon to have in shiny. Okay, okay, okay. There are a lot of Roaring Moons. I like that. No. Uh, me too, and I play Violet. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, there are some Pokemon that I really, really like that are in Pokemon Violet that I just don't really have access to. And you can go into someone's world by playing in the with the Unity Circle. Uh, you can catch these Paradox Pokemon in their world. So that means now if I would find a shiny Roaring Moon and I would have someone in my team that plays Violet, that player could come in and take that shiny version of the Roaring Moon. Which is, I think, super cool because if you have the sandwich and everything, it only takes a few minutes usually. Okay, Roaring Moon... Definitely is uh, taking a bit longer, but usually for the Paradox Pokemon, it only takes a few minutes to get a shiny. 30 minutes, maybe an hour. And if you are looking for the shiny on your game, for example, if you're looking for an Iron Hands in Violet, and the other player is looking for an Ancient Volcarona, which is um, Silver Wing, as soon as you found it, you could call your friend and say like, hey, come here, get your shiny, for example, Silver Wing. And the other player could, with the same sandwich, if it is a fighting sandwich, right? With the same sandwich, could try to get um, Iron Valiant or Iron Hands. So you can go into someone else's world if you already have that specific shiny. Search for the shiny and then let the other person catch it. There was just this one sparkle in the air that was very yellow and I just wanted to check out the dogs. To see if there's like a, a shiny yellow dog. Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna try something else now. We're gonna try a quick despawn and then just going from one side to another. Not running though. I always forget that. I always want to run because I feel like it's giving me spawns quicker. But it doesn't. Now we obviously have the dogs right here. Oh, we have a couple of flying Roaring Moons. Hmm, I am I am really not sure what's better. Running back and forth, seeing a lot of Pokemon, but also seeing a lot of Pokemon that are not Roaring Moons. Or going slowly back and forth and seeing not as many Pokemon, but seeing more Roaring Moons compared to when you run. I don't know. I really wish there was a way to tell, but it just seems like both strategies are 
kind of difficult. Man, these these running moons that were just flying over there, I couldn't even see if they were shiny. I couldn't really. They were just spawning out the moment I saw them. I wish there was a way of doing it like semi quick. Like I tried to do it semi quick, but again, we we were too fast. We have the dogs right there. So you can't even like do it semi quick. You have to do it either really slow or you can just do it quickly. Oh man, dogs, come on. Swilus, we have some random Pokemon spawn over here. Absolutely fantastic. There's one Roaring Moon right here. That's why I don't like the fast version of uh, respawning these Pokemon because I feel like I am not getting any Roaring Moons. Like one? It's just not enough. Kate says, Shiny, I got a Shiny Kirby Knight. That is awesome. Shiny Kirby Knight, definitely a cool Pokemon. Um, Agnanes says, first sandwich, no Shiny. I mean, this is already my third sandwich, but I was at least able to get four different Shinies already. Not different. Three uh, Swilus and one Graver. So at least I, again, that is kind of like keeping up the motivation of doing this too. If you are at least finding a few other shinies while you're trying to get that green. Ancient Salamence. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the despawn slower now. I feel like doing it quickly. It's more exhausting. Look at this, we immediately got two Roaring Moons. There's another one. Yeah, doing it slower is just more promising. A more promising strategy to me. Yeah, we see more. I feel like we see way more if we're doing it slower. No. No. Roaring moon, but green. There are two more roaring moons flying up in the sky, vanishing right in front of me. There's one kind of like trying to get out of the cave by flying against the wall. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Quite a lot of spawns of Roaring Moons right here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, Swilus. Oh, the timer is up. Wow. Okay, wow. Since we were trying to get the Roaring Moon. A little bit slower and we were only loading in Roaring Moons and the Swilus. We were not able to get a single Shiny and we didn't even get a, a Swilus. After we literally got three Shiny Swilus in one sandwich. What are we seeing in... Uh Holly's game right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, is that a... What is the name? Deeply? Treeply? Dreep? Treeply? Deeply? I don't know the name, but is that an Outbreak? Oh, yes, it is. Outbreak shiny hunting for that Pokemon. I mean, if you have a shiny dragon... If you have a dragon sandwich for that too, but even with uh, the Outbreaks, bringing down the... Um... Chances to one in 
I think 1300 and then having the shiny charm chances are 1 in 700 for outbreaks or a little bit less than actually a little bit less than 700 for the outbreak Pokemon even without a sandwich. Kellen can I get a hi? Nice to see you. How are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Um, creative mode. Gonna go. Not cherry tomatoes. How do I go back from this? Like, I don't want... Oh, there we go. Onion. Got the hamburger. We got the avocados. There we go. And next. Got the red flag right here. And we're gonna do it quick. I'm gonna do it quick, but I'm also gonna do it properly. Because you kinda want to do it properly. Sometimes if you have a few ingredients falling off, the sandwich is giving you something else. We had, when we were trying to go for dragon, we had uh, poison coming out, uh, poison boost. We had, oh, the meat needs to stay on for sure. Uh, we had ghost. And there's another thing, if you are afraid to put the bread on top, don't. Don't put the bread on top. It's just important that the ingredients are on the sandwich. The bread, the last bread on top, you don't have to do that. You don't have to necessarily put that on top. Jeremy, nice to see you in the chat. Okay, let's see. There we go. It looks more like a... Like a hamburger that is like opened than a sandwich and it should give us the dragon boost that we want a tasty grizzly original three star encounter power and sparkling power for dragging us up so you don't have to put the bread on top my wife told me that the other day i wasn't i, I wasn't was a little bit skeptical about it but it definitely works Going into research station number three. Again, if you are looking for Roaring Moon, which is Ancient Settlements, or Future Galate slash uh, Gardevoir, which is Iron Valiant, all you have to do is you have to go to research station three, especially when you have your sandwich that is boosting either Dark or Dragon for Settlements or Fighting and... What is the other one? Is it Psychic or is it... I know it's fighting. Um, but you want to go to the tree, you want to go to the left where the cave starts. And here we go, here we are. Here we have the Pokemon spawning in. Now let's see if we can be lucky with this sandwich that we just created. Usually you should only see dragon type Pokemon, but in this cave you have a few different spawns here and there So therefore make sure to slowly spawn in and spawn out the Pokemon that you see to narrow it down to Swilus and Of course the Roaring Moon that we are going for Roaring Moon is one of the most difficult Pokemon to shiny hunt more not most difficult Pokemon, most difficult Paradox Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet. Because you just have a very, very low chance of it appearing. And besides that, you have a high chance of having Swilus. So now you're kind of in a little bit of a pickle because you want to see that Roaring Moon, but you have to deal with the Swilus too. And for me, earlier with a sandwich, I found three Swilus before I could find a different shiny. And as you can see, we have a lot of Swilus. I am spawning and despawning them very, very slowly because I want to avoid the groups of five to come in. Groups of five as in um, Greybard, the Ghost Dog, as well as Gibble, sometimes Pommies. These groups you just really want to avoid. Because, again, they are all taking away spawns from the Roaring Moons. And if you do it slow, like I do right now, you can really see there are a lot of Roaring Moons popping up. Because they have more chances to spawn. Okay, 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 stop, stop. There are actually a lot, a lot of Roaring Moons right here. 
Gotta despawn a few of for them to make room for a new one. Now we have a lot of Swilus. Again, Swilus just has a little bit of a higher spawn chance. So you will definitely have a lot of them. Look at all these Swilus. I appreciate you showing up for the... Okay, okay, okay. I appreciate you guys showing up for the Swilus Dragon me uh, meet and greet right here. <laughs> but that is not the green Pokemon I'm looking for. I take it, I take it, because if we are finding the shining, shiny Roaring Moon, I will have a shiny Swilus on top, right? But the thing is, again, this is not the Pokemon we are looking for. We already got three Swilus earlier today, so it really depends on... I might use a Dusk Ball though, because if we keep it, I want to have a Spylos and a Pokeball that actually matches the shiny color. Shiny Gibble, Agner Nest got a shiny Gibble. Not bad, I would like to have a shiny Gibble. Compared to having another shiny Spylos right here. Not that... <laughs> I mean, not, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I am just not as excited about another Spyloos. With these boosted uh, odds, it is a lot of fun to get these shinies. But I'm really looking for that flying dragon type. I'm not saying that Spyloos, listen to me. At one point, you will be able to fly. You have your two little wings, but it's just not enough. You have to evolve first, okay? And I'm not looking for your evolved one, I'm looking for the Salamence. Stop hunting me! Okay, we're gonna ask, excuse me? Are you okay? Gonna despawn a lot right- Oh, look at how many sal- Oh, look at how many Salamence we have right there! How... Is none of the Salamence's color green? Why? I'm asking you respectfully to give me an answer why why are you not green oh no don't chase me please don't chase me stop it gonna slowly despawn some of them all oh, right now we are having a good time with the roaring moons we have a lot of roaring oh, stop it a lot of roaring moons spawning in I despawned quite some Pokemon. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's still Roaring Moons popping up left and right. Appreciate that, appreciate that a lot. A lot of spiders right there. I do like the little meet and creed that we have right now with the Roaring Moons. Definitely a good play for us. Come on. Okay, we're gonna despawn some of the Roaring Moons. To make sure that we are getting new ones. Stop chasing me, though. Stop ch- Oh, no. Despawning. Slow and steady. Man, I feel really, really bad about for the Swilus. The thing is, it's a shiny Swilus, yes, but I am going to... I'm going to reset it if I am not getting a Roaring Moon. Or a different shiny. Maybe I accidentally spawn in too many Gibbles or another Graveheart, Graveheart that could be shiny. If I'm getting one of these, yes, I might be keeping the Swilus too. But if I'm not getting another shiny and I'm... Obviously trying to get a Roaring Moon. I'm not getting another Shiny then. This Shiny Swilus might be lost in the void. You hear that Swilus? You want that? No? Maybe you should call your friend Shiny Roaring Moon. To keep you company. Oh, Roaring Moon. Leave me alone. I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about him. There are so many Pokemon. 
And we gonna... Gotta despawn them all. Uh, the slogan was gotta catch them all. Right now, it's more, you know, you gotta despawn them all. Okay, okay. Roy Moons are popping up more frequently right now. Oh, I despawned too quickly. Oh, <laughs> no! Come on! This can't be real! Come on! Hey there, Green Swilus! How are you doing? I'm not putting the Swilus on the most recent one because currently it's just really Swilus left and right. So. We're gonna just keep the doggo right there. Ah oh, man, Swilus. It follows you, it follows me wherever I go. I hope I can get the ancient. Oh, interesting. The ancient elements, the shiny elements in the Dusk Ball. Dusk Ball seems like the right choice for. Wait, it woke up? That green little dino. I mean, if I catch this one in the Dusk Fall, I can evolve this one and I would have Svilus and Hydreigon in the green Dusk Fall that I wanted it to be in. Because we again, we, 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 we caught two more. Caught two more of the green ones. So now all I have to do is I have to get a shiny roaring moon. Or a potential, you know, yellow dog would work too. I'm not really trying to get the dogs into my game. But I'm gonna reset them. I know those are two. I know those are two shinies. I'm gonna reset them. I don't want to reset them, but we have we have 19 more minutes. So in these 10 minutes, we found two Swilus. We have 19 more minutes to find the Roaring Moon for us to keep these two Swilus. A shiny Roaring Moon, of course. Slowly gonna spawn out some Pokemon right here. There's so many Pokemon. So many Swilus. Are you serious? Come on, give me the Roaring Moon. Give me the green Roaring Moon. I'm not, I, am I asking for too, too much? This literally, my Pokebox right here, my Pokemon box, my Pokemon storage box, literally looks like my Pokemon Go storage box right now. With all the green dinos, the green Zwilus that I have in Pokemon Go, it's literally the same in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now. Gotta find. I gotta find. I kinda want to keep them. The thing is, I'm going to reset my game and I'm going to lose the two Swilus if I'm not finding another different shiny. Even if I find five Swilus, I'm gonna reset my game. I just gotta find a different shiny. Then I can keep them. But I am not going to keep five Swilus if I am not getting a different shiny. Maybe a Ghibli, Ghibli could be a different shiny. Look at all 
these Swilus, man. We just gotta be lucky. We just gotta be lucky. The spawn chances of a Roaring Moon are already so much slower. And then for it to be shiny instead of getting another green Swilus, it is slower too. It is lower. Way, way lower. Slower, lower, whatever you want to name it. It's definitely not the best chance for us to get a shiny one. Oh, we got Gibbles. We, we accidentally spawned Gibbles in here. Now I think I despawned the Gibbles too fast and we have the dogs right there. And I despawned the dogs too fast. We have the Gibbles right there. Okay, we got a despawn. Okay, we got two despawned Gibbles. Gonna despawn. Two more. And now we're gonna keep on these spawning Pokemon from up there. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Slow and steady wins the race. But I also kinda want the shiny. Okay, okay, lots and lots of Zwilus that we can slowly despawn right here. Spawns. Some Roaring Moons over here. Spawned a few Roaring Moons. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Not a single shiny one though. There are so many Swilus everywhere and I just cannot figure out... Oh, it's coming for me, it's coming for me, it's running, it's running. Can't figure out what to do better to actually increase my chances to get not only the Roaring Moon, but also the... Stop running after me. The shiny one. Mm -mm -mm. I hope I get five more Swilus. And that's it. And I'm gonna reset them all. I kinda want to reset my Swilus. I, I want to reset them at this point. Swilus is gonna give me nightmares, okay? I gotta tell you. Swilus is that one Pokemon that I will have nightmares of. The green, especially the green one. Gromit, where's the cheese? Is in the chat nice to see. I got two shiny while hunting, while shiny hunting Iron Violent, Midnight Form, Lycan Rock, and Sable Eye. Oh, that is super cool. Those are very, very cool shinies, I have to say. Um, Swilus City, it literally is. It's uh, very, very different to hunt Iron Valiant in this cave compared to hunting uh, Roaring Moon. Because Roaring Moon's spawn rate is so low in here. And then to have it shiny. Very, very difficult. Very, very low chances. At least lower than what the chances are in Violet. Where you have Iron Valiant that is just spawning everywhere, right? Roaring Moon is so much harder than... Ma yes, again, again, that's literally what I said, yeah. Uh, Swilus will haunt you forever. As I said, it will haunt my dreams. How much time do we have left? 10 minutes? 13 minutes. Tonight, Christy, we'll dream about shiny Swilus and not shiny dog. I, I mean... Yeah. These... Dinos, Swilus, Hydrogans, I don't know, like all of the, the, the entire evolution line is just nightmare fuel for me right now. I will dream of shiny Swilus eating up my shining Roaring Moon. Shiny Gravat looks like yellow snow. I was uh, actually saying that to my daughter too, who was catching uh, Gravat first. And I think Gravat looks fine. I generally think Gravat looks so much more yellow that it is fine. But it's evolution? It's evolution, man. Oh, there are a lot of non-shiny Roaring Moons right here. Lots of non-shiny Roaring Moons. 
I'm happy about that. I'm happy to see more Roaring Moons. Again, I would rather see a non-shiny Roaring Moon than any other Pokemon. Because that means that Roaring Moon could have been shiny. And that's a good thing. It, it could have been, right? That Roaring Moon is going to get some water. That Roaring Moon looked like it was thinking about its entire life. Like all the decisions it ever made that led to it not being shiny. Oops. Oh, I didn't know that you can... Oh yeah, you can turn your camera around to face the front. That's actually pretty convenient. No! No! That is... Can you... S and it's the wrong one too. I, d I don't... I really do not want you. I really... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna get you, but I really do not want you. This is my sixth. Six, okay? Six of them I already have. If I catch this... Six is the number that I have. Can't be true. Ramon says, hey, Grizzly, I just joined your stream. It's cool, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Um, you're just coming in on the right moment because we are finding another shiny right here. It's not the shiny we are looking for. We are looking for Roaring Moon. And I already have six of them right now. I evolved one, so we basically only have, you know, five and one Hydreigon. But this... Go ahead, where's the cheese says, let's go. I am back and six. Yes, we have six uh, Swilus. Swilus. Swilus are the other Pokemon that spawn in this cave besides Roaring Moon. If you're doing uh, a slow despawn raid, which I am doing. As you're gonna have a lot of other Pokemon like uh, Gibble, Gibite, as well as Graver. But. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm really doing it slowly to only have these Pokemon. And not a single Roaring Moon was shiny. With six Swilus, you can't even say that, you know, Roaring Moon is spawning a little bit. Stop, 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 stop. You can't even say that Roaring Moon is just not spawning as much. It is true. Roaring Moon is not spawning as much. But seeing six Swilus by now and not a single shiny Roaring Moon. Shouldn't that that should just not be that should just not be allowed. That should just be illegal, okay? My shiny luck with Roaring Moon. I have the shiny charm. I have everything. I have the level 3 boosts. I genuinely, okay, now we have 10 minutes. I genuinely, I am, I am a little bit conflicted and I am stating different things right here, but I genuinely don't want to reset my, my shiny Zwilus. I will reset my Zwilus if I am not getting a different shiny. I will do that. And that is a promise. But I genuinely don't want to. I do hate it a little bit, yes. I do hate my shiny Zwilus a little bit. And that's tough to say too. I know, I know, I know. Those are hard words coming out of my mouth. But I do hate them a little bit. But at the same time, I just, I, I don't want to send them away either. Just because I hate them doesn't mean I don't want them. Right? I could give them all away. I don't, I don't, I don't it's not like, it's not like I hate you, hate you. I just... Just have a little bit of a, you know, a love-hate relationship with you as a shiny. Spilus. We have a lot of Roaring Moon spawning in. Again, why would we want to see a green one if we have seven Spilus? Okay, sorry, six Spilus. Okay, six Spilus. Sorry I said seven. And no, that wasn't an invitation for another Spilus to be shiny. I don't actually want to be the trainer that has seven Spilus in shiny. I want to be the trainer that has a roaring moon and shiny, okay? That's the that's the trainer I want to be. That's the trainer I want to be known for. Oh, it's Grizzly, the one 
with the shiny roaring moon and not oh it's grizzly the one with the team out of shiny high dragons bro that's not that's not what i want to be i can literally have an entire team filled with high dragons right now or Swilus. We are seeing a lot of Roaring Moons right now, though. So that is on the, you know, that's on the positive side of things. That is on the very positive side of things. We are seeing a lot of Roaring Moons. And it's nice to see Roaring Moons, right? It's nice to see them. Keeping our eyes peeled. For these nice wings. Don't attack me. I know you saw me. There's no need for you to attack me, okay? Let's go back. We have a Chansey spawn right there. We don't want a Chansey spawn. Why would we want a Chansey spawn? Let's relax. Let's just take a look around. These sparkles everywhere, they also like sometimes I see a, a roaring moon. Was there a green? Was there a green sprite? It's just disappearing. Man, I, I, I'm, starting to I'm starting to see things. I'm starting to see shiny Swilus. Even if there was a shiny Spidus disappearing, I don't even care. I want it to disappear. I mean, if I would have gotten the chance to catch it, I would have caught it, but I want it to disappear. Okay, shiny check. In 10 seconds, we're gonna find a shiny Roaring Moon. 10, 9, 8, 7. Bro, what is the green... What is it? The wings are not green. But the fa- No, it's not. Okay, never mind. That was distracting me a lot. I'm telling you right now, I probably missed 10 of them already in the wars. Where was my countdown? 7? It's gonna be 7 seconds until the shiny roaring moon. 6? Bro, how many are there? So many. None of them is shiny. Uh, 5? Four, three, two, one, and the next Roaring Moon is gonna be green, not this one. The next Roaring Moon that is gonna spawn is gonna be green. I tried. I tried. As long as it's not a green Smilus, I am happy. Imagine a green Smilus coming in. Five stages of grief moment right here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Man, there are so many roaring moons. So many chances for you to be green. And you decide to be what? Blue? I'm not talking to you, Svilus. So many moments where these roaring moons could have decided to be green and they were like, no, I'm gonna be green. Wait, what am I talking about? They, they, they're gonna be blue. Swilu, stop. Stop chasing. So many chances where they could have decided to be green, is what I want to say. <sighs> please be green. Gromit, where's the cheese? Says, please be green, Swilu. Swilu, no. That is not. Excuse me, that is not even funny. That is literally playing with my heart right here. Playing with all of the emotions that I'm going through right now hi dragon why am i saying hi dragon what is the name roaring moon what am i even chasing roaring moon could you please be shiny if the real roaring moon and shiny could please stand up Roaring moon, roaring moon, nice, nice. Oh, we're seeing, oh, 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 seeing so many roaring moons. I'm even starting to hate the roaring moons. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, I love you, roaring moon. Come, come here, be green. 
This one right there, this is a little bit wiggly. You see that? That's me in my head right now. Like, uh, uh, like, like that's literally me all day. Oh, it works. I fixed it. I made it disappear. Okay. That's literally me. Trying to find a shiny one. Gibbous. Am I doing it too fast? Okay, we're gonna do it slower now. Slow despawn rates. Give us high green roaring moon rates. Come on, Gibble. Where? What in the... Golduck? Excuse me. Where? <laughs> okay, listen. The thing is we have the shiny charm, right? And I know for a fact that we are getting very, very lucky with the shiny charms now. Because we are already having, at the end of the day, seven shinies. They are not different. No, they are not. They are all the same. But we are more lucky with shinies. And I would really, really want to shiny hunt some different Pokemon. Would really want to go for a different shiny Pokemon, yeah? That's really what I want to do. Finding different shiny Pokemons. That's my goal. At the end of the day, I want to have every shiny Pokemon. The thing is, Roaring Moon is just such a cool Pokemon that I want to start with that one. I want to have Roaring Moon in my team. And I want to nurture it. I want, I want to bring it to level 100. I want to be strong. And again, I want to be known as Grizzly, who has a shiny Roaring Moon. And not Grizzly, who has 15 green Swilus. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna be known. I'm gonna be known for my shiny Roaring Moon. Just give me, you know, just give me 13 more seconds. We have 13 more seconds? We have 13 more seconds, that's it. If the shiny Roaring Moon is not popping up right now, I'm gonna get rid of the three Let's take one last look at them. Let's remember them. No, honestly, no, let's just, let's buy. Goodbye. I, I don't want them. Let's not remember them. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> let's just, that's it. We're gonna go for another sandwich right here and we're gonna try to get that roaring moon. Don't care about these swilos. Alright, let me read the chat a little bit. Um, RTX, sorry that I didn't read the chat. I'm just really trying to get it. Um, love your content. I hope that you had a good day. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. So far, we already have two different shinies. Actually, three different shinies with the Hydreigon um, that I really, really enjoyed catching. Now, we are kind of cursed. We are kind of stuck with the shiny Swilus, the green Swilus, the nightmare material Swilus Pokemon. Um, and I had to actually basically reset three shiny Swilus right here because I couldn't find anything else. But since I already have the Swilus, I'm not going to save. I don't need more Swilus, okay? One Swilus in my life is one Swilu enough. Did I click the wrong button? I'm clicking the wrong button. Okay, let's speedrun this. Let's speedrun sandwiches. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna speedrun the sandwich. Your Swilus children? No, no, not the Swilus babies. Swilus is gone. I'm telling you right now, there's no need to shed a single tear for these Swilus because we're gonna find way more. We're gonna find more. It's not the last Swilus we found. You guys really think... That the three Swilus in my boxes are the Swilus that I will only keep. I will find probably 10 more Swilus and then at some point find the Roaring Moon. 
and probably keep 10 more. Okay, let's go. Let's just that. I don't care. I, it's okay. We're gonna put one here. Perfect. And we're gonna put one here. We're gonna put the bread right here. That's fine. We don't need the bread. Too much bread doesn't make a sandwich better, okay? Doesn't make a sandwich better. At least that's what I think. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Sandwich time. Another sandwich time. There we go, we have the encounter rate up, we have the sparkling rate up, and we're gonna pack our... Pack our stuff. Let's go. Let's find it. Let's find it. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it now. We're gonna get the Roaring Moon right away. There is no doubt that we will find the Roaring Moon within the next five seconds. Literally five seconds. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to station three. That's where we want to be. We got this. Easy. Um, that hurt to see the poor these poor shinies. I know it hurt me too. Okay. It seems like I am cold-hearted when it comes to these Swilus, which I am maybe a little bit, but it hurt me too. I didn't want them to go. I didn't want to see them go. It's not what I wanted. But I wanted a shiny... Roaring Moon. So I gotta... I, sometimes you just... Sometimes you just gotta let them go. They are in a better place now. Heaven. <laughs> yes. Reset heaven. That's where they are. We have any right here. Nice to see you. I hope you have a fantastic day. This Pokemon is guarding the entrance. Oh, I tricked it. I jumped right behind it. And we can already see our first dragon. There we go. Running, 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 running. We have a ancient Amoongus right there. And here we are yet again in the cave. Swilus, don't. Don't. Don't test me, Swilus. Okay. Telling you right now, it's gonna be a roaring moon. In just a few seconds. We already did so much. So much of shiny hunting roaring moon. That this is the run. This is the sandwich. That is giving us a roaring moon within seconds. Craig, nice to see you. Currently, we are hunting. No, we are not hunting for the doggos. We're gonna check them anyway. Not a single Roaring Moon on the field. Come on. Come on. Come on. Despawn. Thank you. Roaring Moon right there. Roaring Moon right there. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna despawn them. Haha. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! What do we have here? Is that a shiny? Um, okay. Okay, 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 it's okay. Again! It's fine to have these because again, we want to catch some of them in the Dusk Ball as well. So we can have them in the Fitting Ball. There we go. And that's my seventh Swilus right here. And hopefully we find the Roaring Moon. We will find the Roaring Moon. Not hopefully. We will find the Roaring Moon for sure. And then we can keep this one. We can keep this one. There's no need for us to delete it or anything. To reset the game. We can keep it. We just need the Roaring Moon. It's not, it's, I feel like it's. I'm not asking for too much, am I? Like a shiny Roaring Moon? Is that, is, like, look how many we are seeing too. This could have literally, this one Swilus right there, could have literally been our shining Roaring Moon. Could have been. But it decided to be a Swilus. It decided to be a Swilus instead of a Roaring Moon.
We have so many Roaring Moons right here. Why couldn't it be a shiny Roaring Moon? This is something. And the thing is, you can clearly tell I am a little bit impatient right now because we already did that yesterday and shiny odds are insane in this game. Should be a little bit more patient because especially when we look at Legends Arceus or the older games, even older than Legend Arceus, rates of getting a shiny are incredibly low. So me getting a shiny Swilus every 10 minutes, I should be grateful. And I am. I love my Swilus. I, I, I do. And I want to keep them. The thing is, I want to keep the sandwich materials more than I want to have another shiny Swilus. Are you gonna make a compilation, of, uh, compilation about them? Uh, <laughs> I'm not planning on, uh, but I guess that's uh, we we can't. I can not not do that, huh? It's like a uh, ten Swilus. I wish I could like make a fusion, like fuse fusion together all the ten Swilus. Okay, I only had seven. I don't want to accelerate. Okay, we only had seven. Fusion them together and have one Roaring Moon. That's all I'm asking for. I'm, 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 I would give you all my Swilus for one Roaring Moon right now. I want a tiny one. If I get a shiny, I hope it's a tiny one. I can't believe that this is actually a Roaring Moon... Shiny Hunt? And it ended up being a Swilus Shiny Hunt. Swilus and Gravard. Did I just despawn another green Swilus over there? I don't know. May again, I feel like I'm imagining things at this point. Definitely imagining things at this point. Wouldn't even care. If it was a green Swilus, I wouldn't even care. Okay? Despawning green Swilus? Doesn't even matter. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, these Swilus! Get out of my game. Get out of my game. Leave some room for some shiny flying roaring moons, okay? If you don't want Swilus, then shiny dino. No, 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 no. Listen, I have Shiny Dino in Pokemon Go 10 times. More than 10 times, I think. Literally, I am good with this Pokemon. I'm okay. I'm so fine with this Pokemon. Completely done. No need for me to get another Shiny. I'm just looking, I'm looking, I'm keeping my eyes peeled, I'm keeping my eyes open, wide awake. I'm right here for the shiny Roaring Moon. Um, dinos, di look at these dinos. Spiders is the channel mascot? No, no. It's the arch enemy of the channel. The arch enemy forever. Stop running, stop running after me. I really just want you in green. If you're blue, there's no reason for you to run after me. I feel like I'm despawning them. Ah. I feel like I'm despawning them in a, in, a, in a quite good rate now. Like, they are coming in quite quickly. I see quite a few Roaring Moons every minute. Like, look at them. They are really spawning in really, really good. And I feel like I figured out the... Okay, I'm a little bit too fast now, but that's fine. Um, overall, good spawn rates of Salamence, Flying Salamence, uh, Ancient Salamence, Roaring Moon. It just has It just has to be blue. No, it is blue. It just has to be green. I already forget, forgot what, which color it should be.
Come on. Come on is what I said. Please? So many roaring moons. Okay, okay, I like I like it. I like it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay that it is not shiny. At least it's not another Swidus. I'm almost okay with not getting a shiny roaring moon as long as I'm not getting another shiny Swidus. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. I'm okay with not getting a shiny roaring moon as long as it's not a shiny Swidus. The next shiny Swilus? Ah, uh, maybe the next shiny Swilus I might catch. But if we are getting three shiny Swilus again, I'm gonna let one disappear. Thank you right now, I'm gonna let one just vanish. Why are Dino Swilus and Hydreigon exclusive to Pokemon Wyatt and... Uh, don't run... No, 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 no. I'm trying to read the comments right now. Don't run after me. Um, exclusive to Pokemon Violet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think that's a cool thing, though. I think it's a cool thing that these Pokemon are exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. And then you have the future form only exclusive to Pokemon Violet. I think that is... I don't know why, but I think that's a cool thing. Because you already have Hydreigon in Pokemon Scarlet, right? So now if you would have... Um, Iron Jugglers, you probably wouldn't need Hydreigon. I feel like it's a good split to have that Paradox Pokemon in the different version. This one that is just having a blast right there at the water. Okay, disappeared. Uh, add a Swilus counter to counter how many Swilus shells you have caught. Tip, your Pokemon in auto battle mode will not attack shinies. Yeah, that is true, they won't. But don't you worry, it's not like I see any shinies. And I'm telling you right now, if I see another Swilus, I wish it could defeat the Swilus in auto battle. Or maybe you were giving a tip to someone else. <laughs> but you know, I appreciate it too. Okay, mass despawn, not mass despawning, slowly despawning the Pokemon. It can't be, it can, it's just, we have a Gibble right there, a Gibble group. So many roaring moons. I wish I would have a counter of how many Roaring Moons I have actually seen. Because at this point... Like, yes, I have seen so many Spidus and I got seven shiny Spidus. But at this point... I should have seen a shiny Roaring Moon too, right? Sometimes the color is just a little bit off and I'm like looking at the Roaring Moon and I'm like, wait a minute, is that a shiny? Like some of these are trying to be shiny for me when they're actually not shiny. They're trying to be shiny with the light that is in this cave. I just want one green flying dragon. Flying dragon. Did you listen? Flying dragon. Flying dragon. Just one. Just one? Just one? Just a single one? No? No? I mean, we, we get them. We, we get the flying dragons. Just not shiny. Okay, I'm doing it too quick again. Uh, that's Vilus hate here. This Vilus is just... A, it's, it's a nice Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. A great shiny too, it's a great green, great, great, I love, yeah, it's Vilus. 
Spiders, spiders. Lululululu. There's always like questions where it's like, what is your least favorite shiny? And like, what is your, like, what's the Pokemon that you hate the most? And like, all these questions. I was always like, hey, all Pokemon are the same. I, I really do like them all. They're great. And there is not really a bad shiny. There are just different shinies. Some of the shinies look very interesting color wise. Some of the shinies look very similar to its normal form. There's not really a bad shiny, nor is there a bad Pokemon. Every Pokemon is designed different, and I do like it. But honestly, I'm changing my mind. Right here, right on the spot. Worst shiny? Spilus. Worst Pokemon? Spilus. Worst whatever question it is? Spilus. Spy? Lose. Come on. There is a shiny Spilus right next to the Silliments. I despawned it? Really? Oh no. I despawned? I don't even... It doesn't even matter to me. I Did I really despawn a Swilus that was shiny? Wow. I need to pay better attention. Not that I... Not that it matters to me. That Swilus can go into the void. Into nothingness. The Swilus void. I'm calling it the Svilus Void. Did I really despawn a shiny one? Now Grizzly found a specific answer to those questions. Yes. Very, very specific answer. Okay. 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 This is it. We're gonna despawn these Svilus and they're all gonna turn into one green roaring moon. Gonna despawn it. See? See? They, they are... What is that? That chance he was running. All these Swilus that we are despawning, they are all turning into one green, big, roaring moon. Listen to me. Roaring moon, but green. I have one idea. I have, I have one quick idea for the game. Just one quick idea for the game. Roaring moon, but shiny. Roaring moon, but green. Smilus? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't need a Smilus. Roaring moon, but green. We see, I feel like we see a fair amount of Roaring Moons too. It's not like we don't see Roaring Moons. Look at that. We are seeing a fair amount of Roaring Moons. One day will be our day. Maybe not today. I'm not confident in today. But one day will be our day. Come on, Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. But shiny. It's just a quick idea that I have right here. Roaring Moon, but shiny. Who's hatching the Chakadets? Ch um, yes, yes, yes. That's my daughter who is playing in the living room. Uh, doesn't want to be on camera, doesn't want to be on the live streams, but has no issues with sharing her screen for us to see in case she gets a lucky shiny egg with the shark that um the shark that uh, the, the the hatching method actually worked for her yesterday she was hunting the sprigadito and shiny for quite a few days now and yesterday was the day where the shiny sprigadito was finally hatching very very exciting come on how did I despawn too quick? I despawn too quick, okay. Man, we see... You can't tell me that one of these isn't supposed to be green. Look, 
there are way too many for them not to be green at all. Am I too close to the water? Yeah, it's spawning all the po Pokemon at the water again. I just found a shiny roaring moon. Daniel just found a shiny roaring moon. I'm very happy for you, Daniel. I can probably not express how happy I am for you right now because I am stuck with these Zweidus. But I genuinely think that is a, a great find. I think everyone who ever tried to get a shiny roaring moon knows how painful it can be to find one. Maybe there are some people that are more lucky than me, but I am sure there are people that are even more unlucky than me, having less luck than me. So I think in general, a roaring moon, if you have that in shiny, congratulations. That's, that's an accomplishment. That is a good shiny to have because it's actually a little bit more of a difficult shiny. If you think about the shinies in this game, overall, there are not too many difficult shinies. You despawned a shiny roaring moon? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Don't say that. I didn't. I didn't. What's the time? Two hours, 47 minutes. 74, 47 minutes. I'm gonna look that up later. I don't, I don't believe that I despawned one. I, did I despawn one? I, did I despawn one? Really? No, 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 no. Don't say that. No. You got me right there. That was... Mm -mm -mm. Don't, don't, don't... Don't choke around like that. That's literally my... That, that is literally my worst nightmare. Because it happens. It happens that you sometimes see a roaring moon and it's right at the edge and it just despawns. Stop hunting me. It just despawns. Like, it's not like it is impossible for me to despawn a roaring moon that is shiny. It's definitely something I'm capable of. That would be devastating. Mouse hold? Mouse hold is actually, I don't know, uh, expect mouse hold maybe? Uh, mouse hold is actually a shiny that looks very, very similar. And the other day I was telling my wife like, hey, listen, don't shiny hunt mouse hold. Not in an outbreak. Don't shiny hunt mouse hold. It's not worth it because you won't see it. You won't actually be able to, to see the difference, right? I was like, hey, don't do it, don't do it. She wanted the mouse hold, she went for the mouse hold. Why she was defeating the 60 mouse holds that you need to defeat to get increased shiny chances from outbreaks. There was one mouse hold that she just couldn't attack with the auto attack. It she just didn't allow her to attack it. She literally found a shiny mouse hold within the first 60 mouse holds. That was insane. Like I, I'm still not sure how that was even possible. That is way too lucky. And then Holly, my daughter, who who you can see uh, trying to shiny hunt the chocolate that right there, was doing a slow poke out outbreak, and I was like, man, why, why are you doing a slow poke outbreak? It's so difficult. Slow poke, literally the same shiny too. She got it. She just, she simply got it. She went to an outbreak and she saw one that was a little bit, a li you, you couldn't tell the difference. It was literally like slow poke. No, not slow poke. Uh, yeah, no, slow poke. Literally the same shiny as normal form. And she was just like, well, this one seems a little bit too bright, a little bit too pale. It was the shiny one. And she was about to skip it. It was more of a choke. She was more like choking around. Hoping for it to be shiny. Literally was the shiny. And here I am. Trying to find a very obvious shiny. Come on. If it is shiny you will see it. Like there's no way you will not see a shiny roaring moon. 
It's literally so different from the normal one. And I'm just not getting it. I'm literally not getting it. 60. My wife defeated not even 60 mouse holes and found the shiny. And I'm here. Hours. In the game trying to get a shiny Roy Moon. Somebody explain this to me. Hello, Ev. Even the Swinus are kind of like leaving me alone now. The Swilus are not green either. Okay, I mean, I, de I, I apparently despawned one green dino. One green Swilus. Which I am actually, I, I, I am not too mad about that. That's fine. Despawning a, a Swilus, that's, that's okay. Already have plenty of them. And I even have one in my inventory again. Roaring moon, roaring moon, roaring moon, roaring moon. Okay. But not the right color. I despawned a little bit too quick. We have the dogs here again. What is with the Swilus? Why is it running after me like that? Why? Why would you? Why would you run after me like that? You know how much I dislike you. Four more minutes. We have four more minutes on the sandwich. I have one Smilus that I will definitely reset. I resetted three Smilus earlier because I didn't catch a different shiny. And you're really questioning if I will reset one? Oh, I will. Oh, I will. I can find a Roaring Moon in four minutes. I will reset that. That green dino? That green Smilus? It's gonna go into the Smilus void. I thought I saw a shiny roaring moon and I got scared, but it was a normal one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I, I feel like if I see a roaring moon that is shiny, like I will I will be able to tell though. I will be able to tell though. So I will be screaming. Agnes says I'm on my fourth sandwich. Same. Same. I am too. And again, I was shiny hunting it yesterday on stream too. That one smile is really wants me. That just follows me along wherever I go. Wherever I go. Please leave me alone. Please, Roaring Moon. There was one Roaring Moon, it was a normal one, but it was just. That's the thing, like, it was just popping in. And then it disappeared. And I am so afraid that that will happen with the shiny one. That it will be on screen for a second. And then it will disappear. So afraid that that's gonna happen. And I am so sure that it's gonna happen. I don't know why, but it's just, it's, it has to happen. This Roaring Moon is having a good time. Okay, no. I just feel like it has to happen like that. I have to find a shiny one and then it immediately disappears. It's just, that's just how it's gonna be. There's no way that it's gonna be any different. There's no way that I am... When I see it, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it disappear, not on purpose, on accident. 
but I am so confident in that. And I, I almost hate that I am so confident in that. I don't want that smiles, okay? Listen. I don't want it to attack me, I don't want it to follow me. It's like a stray cat that follows you home and... I'm sorry, I don't want you right now. Don't want you to follow me home. This is terrifying. I mean, I'm not even seeing... A shiny Smilus at this point anymore. And maybe I'm ignoring the shiny Smiluses? Not on purpose, but my, my, you know, my vision just doesn't show me any green Smiluses anymore. But like, it would be really nice to have something. Even a Smilus, I would take a Smilus. Just kidding, please don't give me a shiny Smilus. Please don't do that to me. I'm losing brain cells on the Swilus. Or rather on this Roaring Moon. Why is... Oh no. The timer is up, man. The timer is up. You come down here. I want to defeat this Roaring Moon. I want to defeat it. Come down here. Why couldn't you be shiny? Why? How do I get it? Like, what if that one was the shiny one and I just can't get it down? Imagine that one was shiny. What am I gonna do about it? It's just up there. It's unreachable for me. Alright, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think for today... How many resets did we do? Um, I think I did a total of four, five... Five resets, right? But what we got was absolutely fantastic. We got really, really cool Pokemon. Uh, I want to go into them real quick. We're gonna get out of the game, though. I want to show you guys uh, which Pokemon I was catching today. We're gonna reset the game, which will send one Smilus into the void. And I think we already sent one Smilus into the void by resetting the game. Not by resetting, by um, despawning it. So that is sending, I don't know, a total of five Five shiny Swilus into the void already. <sighs> um, Gorvaya says, Hello, found you uh, from my YouTube shorts. I appreciate you stopping by here on the stream as well. Um, do my strategy of defeating Pokemon. Agner, Agnerness, I was actually thinking of that too. Um, might try that out next stream. For today, we have Hydreigon right here, which is a super cool Pokemon. I am actually super happy. Despite me finding so many Zweiluses, I'm super happy to have it. Hydreigon, really cool Pokemon to have them in Shiny. One Zweilus will most likely be uh, part of a giveaway. I will have to figure out which one I want to send away because we have one that is Dark Terra type and one that is Dragon Terra type. And then... Completely random on the side. We found the yellow Greymart, which is I think a super cool shiny too And I'm really happy to have that one. I think that one is a great find. That one is absolutely fantastic Not having Roaring Moon is devastating, but having Greymart instead at least for now Definitely is cheering up my mood when it comes to the shiny Pokemon. Can I have a I want to have a picnic with all of the Shiny Pokemon that I have at least with all of the shiny Pokemon I caught today. And I'm only gonna bring one Spilus. Um, let me look at them. Look at the shiny Pokemon. I'm actually super happy. Those are cool Pokemon. This one immediately fell asleep. This, they are. Are they falling asleep right away? They are cool Pokemon. I'm very happy with them. Very, very happy with them. I think today's shiny hunt was definitely not the worst. Definitely a success. And 
yeah, that is it for today's stream. I would absolutely appreciate you guys leaving a like on the stream if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the Poke Grizzly. We will have more streams in the future. I'm super, super excited for it. We will hunt Roaring Moon again. This is not the last day that I have been in this cave. I am super, super excited to eventually have that shiny and, you know, be able to shiny hunt other Pokemon because with the shiny charm, we are going to have a lot of fun shiny hunting in this game. There are going to be a lot of shinies that we will catch. Um, but for today, we're just going to, let's just going to stand here, take a look into kind of the abyss almost. There's a rainbow down there. That is beautiful. I like that. All right. Okay. That is it for the day. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. If you are hunting shinies, if you are hunting the Roaring Moon, I hope you have better luck than me. I hope you will get it quicker. Um, but yeah. Enjoy the Swiluses if you are trying to get Roaring Moon as well. Uh, let me read the chat. Saya said, says, thanks for the stream. Please don't dream about Swilus. It's gonna it's gonna be nightmares. Nightmares. Um, Egnanes says, maybe next stream we both can get shiny Roaring Moons. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, the Legal said, can I join uh, you there in the Union Circle? Um, shiny hunting like that in the Union Circle would be a little bit difficult because if you catch the shiny, I wouldn't get it. Imagine someone being in my team and when I see the shiny, they are getting it and I'm losing it. At least for my first shiny Roaring Moon, that would be devastating. Um, that could be a strategy that I could uh, do with members in the future. For example, when I have my Roaring Moon, I could go down into this cave again. We could run around, try to get another Roaring Moon Shiny to spawn. And for everyone who is playing Violet, that could be a great chance to catch their Roaring Moon as their original trainer tag in Pokemon Scarlet with the Union Circle. So that's maybe something that we can do. Uh, for members in the future. So if you haven't already check out the membership here on YouTube You get exclusive emotes you get exclusive badges, but you also get an um, Access to an exclusive discord channel as well as exclusive events like giveaways You know, we're gonna play together. We're gonna terror raid together the seven star raids will probably be something that I will do with members and yeah Gonna give away shinies probably Pokemon cards. There's a lot to come so yeah, if you haven't already, maybe consider becoming a member. But for today, again, thank you all so much for being here with me. And I will see you all very, very soon in the next stream or the next video or the next short. Hopefully next time we're going to get that Roaring Moon. Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic time. Bye-bye.